this should be getting sponsored right now by oh my fucking god i just got so scared there is literally a man um <laughs> you can what does he want I don't know how I get myself in these situations, but yeah, the story starts with me. Buckle in, you're gonna wanna stay to the end. So this story starts with me going on my normal run that I go for a few miles every day, and I usually pass the elementary school that's near my house, but I noticed a cop was following me this time. I wasn't worrying until I saw this emergency vehicle headed towards the school just a mile in. But this is when it gets worse. I was headed to my friend's house after my run, and I noticed passing by at the elementary school that there was at least double the amount of cops there. After going to my friend's house, this is the only video I had from it. Check my phone to see my mom blowing me up with texts. When I got back to my neighborhood to see what was going on, that's what I saw. Somehow I ended up here. I'm running out of time, so I'll explain it in the next video. So I used to know this girl who would constantly say things like, Guys, sorry, I'm so ugly. I just ruined the whole group photo, I'm sorry. And then everyone would automatically comfort her and be like, No, you're beautiful. You shine. And then she would be like, No, but thank you. And she would do the same thing over and over again, trying to get everyone's attention. So eventually, I got tired. So the next time she came to me saying, I'm so ugly, I was like, <laughs> you know what? You are. She was like, what'd you say? And I was like, bitch, if you think you're ugly, I can crop you out of the photo. The fuck do you- This is nine-year-old Taya. And on New Year's Eve, he was in the front yard playing with his sister and cousins. When all of a sudden there was a big bang from a gunshot and then he hit the ground. They then rushed him to the hospital, but to find out he barely had a scratch. So when they went back to the crime scene, you guys won't believe what saved his life. It was his cross necklace that he was wearing around his neck. It stopped the bullet from going through and hitting him in the chest. So if you could, write God is good in the comments and if you believe in miracles, share this story. Kirk. What the fuck? You went to a public high school? Who was the kid who faked cancer? It was my best friend, freshman year of high school. She pulled me aside at 7 in the morning and she's like, I have something to tell you. And I'm like, what's up? And she's like, so I went to the doctors and they told me that I have cancer and I'm going to surgery in two weeks. I told her, I was like, what type of cancer? She's like, blood cancer. I just have to get my blood drained. Excuse me. I should, I was, I was 14, okay? I should have fucking known better. But she was like, yeah, um, I may die. Pretty much she told me that, she, like, something may happen. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm getting myself prepared to lose my best friend, pretty much. And so the day after surgery comes, and I call her during my lunch, and I'm like, hey, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm going in right now. I'll make sure someone texts you when I get out. So I'm waiting the entire day. And then at 8 p.m., I get this text from this boy named Sam that I had never heard of telling me that she's in a coma and on life support because the surgery didn't go well. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement Ô oh Dieu, pauvre et chantant En tout chemin, en tout lieu Il ne parle que du bon Dieu Il ne parle que du bon Dieu À l'époque où Jean Santerre d'Angleterre était le roi Dominique, notre père, combattit les albigeois Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement Ô oh Dieu, pauvre et chantant En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Certains jours, un hérétique par des ronds. Story time of how my best friend got so weirdly obsessed with me that she even plotted to kill my boyfriend. So at the time, me and this girl, let's just call her Olivia, had only been friends for about two years. I mean, we really did everything together. We were with each other 24-7, and I mean, we were pretty good friends. But the only thing about our friendship is she did not like when I had other friends. I mean, she didn't have any other friends herself, but literally she would joke around about strangling my other friends. 
because she didn't like when I gave my attention to anyone else. But honestly, I just thought of it as a joke. And then I started dating this guy, let's just name him Jacob. He was probably the sweetest guy I had ever met and he was a real simp for me. So we start dating and about four or five months go by and he started getting these texts from a random number. And it would always be cringy things like leave her or you die, get away from her, and like stupid cringy threats. Then one night me and him were just hanging out. Then he gets a text with his exact address saying he had till tonight to leave me or he wouldn't see another day. Then we hear a knock at the door. I'm running out of time. Customer, can I please have 20 resin keychains for my daughter's birthday? Me, yes, of course. Just let me know the letters and colors you would like. Customer, could I please have 10 A's, 3 E's, 7 T's with multicolor? Me, yes. Thank you for getting back so quickly. Since your order is a custom order, you will have to pay pal me. The total is $20. Customer, okay. One hour later. Customer, okay. The payment is sent. Have you received it? I'll check PayPal. Me, no, not yet. Are you sure you sent it to the right account? Customer, yes, your PayPal account is right. Me, yes, that's it. Let me reload the page and see if I get anything. I reload the page and don't see anything. Me, do you mind just sending me a screenshot of your payment? Something must be wrong with my PayPal. Customer, takes a screenshot from the internet of somebody else's payment. Me, being skeptical and not taking any chances by putting it into a photo matching website. Waiting for a photo recognition. Website, we found three other photos like this from the internet. Me, you sent me a fake payment from the internet. Why would you do that? Customer, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll pay for real. I have a small business too, so I know what it feels like to get scammed. Me, what? Honestly, I think we all met that girl that goes, Oh, I have a lot of guy friends. And I think all of us guys know when a girl says that, it's like an automatic red flag. Like, I remember back in high school, I met this girl in math class, and I remember her walking up to me, and she said, Hey, Bubba, can I add your snap for, like, homework reasons? Now, I'm gonna be honest, I was, like, basically failing almost all my classes, because I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the smartest kid when it comes to school. But at the same time, though, I was, you know, in that state where I did hit puberty, so I didn't look ugly, so a girl getting my snap wasn't a big shock. Anyways, I remember when I went home that day she ended up snapping me she snapped me saying to come over and help her with homework that she had and when i asked her what kind of homework she said math so i already know it was automatically just bs and she wanted to just you know do the devil's tango so i ended up going over and when i went over let's just say the most sweatiest things happened fall for part two it was the first time i had ever seen a dick and the dude he just like whipped it out like 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 there was no like, all right, you ready? It was just like a. Rock, paper, scissors, say shoot. Oh my God, I won, yay! Whoa, 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 it's two out of three. Two out of three. Put them guns down, I still get a second chance. Okay, Lewis, come on. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, say shoot. Oh my God, yes, okay. We back in this. Last round, Lewis. We made it all the way. It's just you and her. Let's go. Let's no, go. please. I have four kids back at home. You got kids? Yes, I have a whole family. Please. You got a whole family to take. Okay, okay, look. You're right. You have a family to take care of. Your kids are the... Pa they, they, they need their mom, okay? All right, so this is what's going to happen. You going to throw paper. I'm going to throw rock. And then you will collect the prize money and go take care of your family, okay? Oh my God, thank you so right, much, sir. This. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rock, paper, scissors, say shoot. Oh my God, you actually fell for that? <laughs> Give me my money. Give me my Wait, money. No, what about my kids? Oh, your kids? Fuck them kids. <laughs> Give me my money. Girl, what? He wants me to put all of the girls' names he cheated on with. First, I'll be making their anniversary date. Now for the names of the girls he cheated with. She's gonna give him the necklaces in front of his family so that he can read it out loud. The other side is their anniversary. She also got herself butterfly necklaces for Hot Girl Summer. And this crystal bracelet that takes away negativity in your life. I can't wait to see his reaction. This random bird flew into my grandma's house and refused to leave. The next day I went to visit her and it was sitting on her shoulder. 
No matter how many times she puts it outside or puts it down, it comes back to her. Tell me your craziest one in a million story. Something that happened to you that you just can't believe was real. So my dad always wanted a son. He just kept trying and he, he just couldn't give up. I have three sisters. He kept, kept trying. Um, and then there was me. I was finally born. I wasn't supposed to be born on the day that I was born. Uh, I think my due date was earlier or later. I forget. But my dad, the day that I was born, he had to cancel work. And the day that he had to cancel work, he had a security meet on the 101st floor of Tower 1 of the Twin Towers. And I was born on September 11th, 2001. So my dad didn't go to work that day, and he got a baby boy. Uh, no, no, we ain't giving no hope. I ain't Romeo and no hope. Me in my shop alone. Hello. Welcome. Man starts wandering in the shop. If you would like any help, please let me know. What time do you close? We're actually closing in five minutes. Are you alone today? I reach slowly to my pepper spray. No flies. Do you know the nearest motel? Nitrogen monoxide again in preparing to close, if you can be quick, sir. Continues to stare in my direction. It's been a while, where's your other co-worker? I ignored him and continued to stack items on shelves. Hey, don't play games with me. I turn around and find him. What TF are you doing? You know, Deborah, that was really racist. No, she's from another time. You gotta be understanding. She's from another time? Yeah, things were different in her time. Okay, and she's been here the whole time in between then and now, right? Well, yeah, but things were different when she was young. Okay, no, yeah, like, I get that, but are we really gonna pretend that yesterday it was the 50s and she just teleported into 2020 with no time to prepare or work on her biases? It's just that it was more socially acceptable when she was young. Yes, and it has not been socially acceptable for the past at least 20 years. Where was she for those 20 years? Well, she was round. Okay, so what's her excuse? Because I'm sorry, but it was socially acceptable in Oh my god, my soulmate sent me $35,000. Wow. Yeah, and mine sent me twenty. dollars What about you? Yeah, mine sent me like $25,000. Oh god, he's so poor. Okay, here, take it. Oh god. Hey, Dad. I was wondering, just for funsies, what would happen if my soulmate is poor? Honey, don't be silly. We're wealthy rich. That would never happen. Yeah, um, are you inviting anyone poor to my birthday party? Oh god, no, never. I'll see you at the birthday party. Who are you?
If you think that's bad, you're gonna wanna listen to this. It's literally 10 times creepier. Let's get into it. Part two. In regards to everyone saying this is fake, this is me two years ago working there, proof that I did work there, and this is three days before the incident happened, so let's get into it. Okay, so basically where we left off, Josh, my coworker, was texting another girl with his girlfriend there on the couch. And Josh's girlfriend looks over his shoulder and sees him texting another girl on the couch as they're watching a movie. Now Josh's girlfriend is asking a ton of questions on who this girl is and worried that she is getting cheated on. But Josh told his girlfriend that it was someone texting him inquiring about something he put on, I believe, Craigslist. This is when things get weird. Josh's mom then comes downstairs and brings some snacks or whatever. And immediately as his mom comes downstairs, his girlfriend goes upstairs to go to bed. Hour goes by and Josh hears the phone ring. And this is weird because it's 1 a.m. Then he hears a knock on the door. Yeah. Yo, Uzi. Uzi. What's good, bro? Can you pay for my college tuition? 90 grand, I go to Temple, bro. 90 grand? I could pay for that. I know you can. But this is the thing, though. If I pay for your college tuition, are you going to finish college? Are you of gonna course. Nah. 100%. I don't bullshit. I'll finish What's that. What's your name on Instagram? Big Ass Heel. Big Ass Heel. Big sure, Ass Heel. Make sure you show me all of your, your transcripts, everything. Show me all of your papers and everything, and you can get 90000 from me. All right, bro. Fuck. All right. If you I'll, don't, if you don't show you. me, you won't get 90 Nah, I got you, bro. You show me, if it's I'll show college, you. I got you. You come you to Temple sometime, too, bro. You gotta show me All right. Love you, bro. Take it easy. It started pouring, so I ran into my car. Then realized. This is not my car.